number one and number two, these two at the top here are just like this can just crazy robot with way too many guns, just like it would just open up and panels would open up and there would just be like guns on guns. Number three and four is kind of where we started going with, with HK is uh, this really heavy, almost um, walks on two legs, almost like a, like a big chicken, the, the way a chicken yeah, would walk. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't say four. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Chad. I'm having time. Uh, and... Uh, these big giant shields that are on top, you know, in front mm -hmm. of them, just, just, you can't attack him unless, uh, maybe you get around the back. Sure. Um, playing with some head designs. Another thing that wasn't on the reference sheet is I always liked the way they designed robots in the Mega Man games. Okay. All right. Okay. You know how they, they're kind of cute, but they also have fun faces. They sure. always have faces. So that's what these little, I was, these little head explorations are. Um, they all have little jaws and things like that. So I, that these were this is the first pass. Uh, people, we talked about a lot. We talked about this this bottom group here, mm -hmm. and we talked about number three and four because it had a lot of character to it. Now I'm getting into the kind of final design. So because there's the backpack again, um, we got rid of these uh, the ammo for the big mortar. Mm -hmm. It was kind of it looked cleaner as, as just that you don't get to see him kind of sure. eject or anything like that. Um, there's the gun. That's yep. one of the final replications of the gun. Yep. I like it. Even though I did a, a whole bunch of drawings for how he fortifies, it was actually a lot simpler to, once Joe had modeled a lot of him, mm -hmm. have Ben, who's the animator, start moving parts around, and then we decided, okay, this is how it, the fortify works, yeah. and then all, all, all that came together. HK206 is, can be amazingly expressive just in terms of what, for want of a better word, I'll say body language. Yeah. Uh, chassis language. Chassis maybe. language. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and that, I think, makes him just a fascinating character to write about because he is this sort of silent presence, and yet he has, I think, almost a, a very Warner Brothers cartoon-like ability to use body to express Indeed. Vinod, all kinds of things. Vinod earlier talking about how a robot can have so many human characteristics on mm -hmm. it and how they exclude that, and definitely, definitely HK206. And, like, in-game, like, he just has so many different nuances on how he moves around the map. You're just, like, you're probably laughing because it's, it is cute when he goes, like, from travel mode to, like, rolly wheel mode, and it's always mm -hmm. fun, always fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, the first thing we have is a letter intercepted by border guards. Calario. Our patron doesn't want HK-206. The armor, the weapons, the chassis, none of that matters. What our patron does want is the core underneath that armor. Weapons and chassis, the core within, that's what we're being paid for. Which brings up two great difficulties. Difficulty number one, we've got to find HK and neutralize it somehow. I'm working on the first part of that and I expect your usual flair and creativity for the second part. Difficulty number two, We've got to extract the core, even though we don't know exactly what it looks like. It should stick out, though. Amid all the gears and sprockets and turbines, there's one part that's centuries old. That's the core we want. If we succeed, I'll probably have you do the actual extraction. Just dig into HK-206's innards and bring back anything that looks like an ancient artifact. <laughs> I won't say it's simple, but it should be straightforward. Signed, Torvane the Grasper. Torvane the Grasper. Grasping for the core. <laughs> All right, the second thing we have is uh, some military correspondence. General Rodak, when we attached HK-206 to our unit, you warned me that the machine would become a glorified mascot, not the mobile siege engine I thought I was getting. Turns out we were both wrong. In its own way, HK-206 has become a leader of sorts. It doesn't speak, and I'm not entirely sure it understands what I'm telling it to do. HK-206 will follow orders to do something, but its red light looks away and it seems to shrug. Can a machine shrug? <laughs> if I give it an order not to do something. It seized Merrick Ridge all by itself last week, killing or frightening off several dozen bandits single-handedly. Thank the stars my troopers were following in its wake and saw the bandits fleeing. Otherwise, HK-206 would have just come trundling back into camp, and how is it going to tell me, by the way, the ridge you wanted is ours for the taking? It was an unexpected victory, but the downside is that Merrick Ridge isn't much of a ridge anymore. You should see the craters. And now, the soldiers are following HK-206 everywhere. <laughs> how do they follow a leader that can't give orders? Seeking guidance, Captain Nowtry. Interesting. Little... 
a little different confusion on the uh, battlefield, a little uh, different. It's funny. It's funny how HK plays into that human element again, kind of goes back mm -hmm. to it. Uh, they warned him about it, and something else happened. Yeah, exactly. Then finally, we have uh, Ganari's footnotes. Uh, uh, HK 206 observations. Now, in the d lore dungeons, uh, there's a whole big research report, and these are just the footnotes from that research report. Footnote number one. Weapon aim noticeably improved after repeated trials. Hmm. Hypothesis. HK 206 learns and improves with practice. Footnote number two. HK 206 doesn't reliably respond to verbal commands. <laughs> Convincing it to cooperate with a test is thus difficult. An accident on the firing range revealed a possible motivator. HK-206 diverted its fire when an assistant was in danger. Hypothesis, there's a protective behavior we might be able to trigger in future tests. Footnote number three. A search through our archived blueprints revealed multiple previous HK designs. Some I'll charitably call fanciful. Some contradicted each other. At this point, it's impossible to tell exactly what's inside the HK-206 chassis. Footnote number four. HK-206 resisted efforts to access its interior. It did so actively. <laughs> Footnote number five. Close observations of its lenses suggests that HK-206 is perpetually targeting whatever it looks at, and its weapons seem active at all times. Some assistants found this unnerving. <laughs> and finally, number six. We completed approximately one-third of the test battery before HK-206 exited the testing grounds. <laughs> HK-206 <laughs> just like goes away. <laughs> yeah, I imagine a Warner Brothers style silhouette. Yeah. On the wall. It's like, I'm done. <laughs> HK-206 resisted efforts to recover it actively. Tests are suspended pending HK-206 return and rebuilding of the testing grounds. HK is the jack of all trades and known as a versatile contender on the battlefield. Depending on their upgrades, players can tailor their HK to be a hard hitting machine, suppressive off tank, or an opponent who specializes in debuffing their targets and spreading havoc on the battlefield. Up first, we're starting off a little different with HK upgrade paths. HK has a unique mechanic called Fortify. HK fortifies himself onto a point, augmenting some of his abilities and creating additional armor on use. HK's Fortify upgrades branch out in two unique branches one favoring offense and the other defense. Up first, we have Servo Boost combined with Recalibration. This grants HK faster fortifying speed, a shorter cooldown, and a 15% damage boost for all damage in a short window. These upgrades support a more run and gun gameplay with HK, rewarding players for constantly fortifying at new positions. HK's Right Path focuses more on defense. When players take Siege Mode in conjunction with Earth Mover, players will be granted a 400 HP shield, deflection from ranged projectiles from the front, and the ability to launch enemies away from HK. Switching gears, we go back to HK's 206 left mouse button, or better known as Bullet Raj. It costs a stream of bullets that can be modified when you enter the fortified state. For players looking to increase Bullet Barrage's damage, try selecting Rapid Fire in either a combination of Ballistic Accelerator or High Caliber Rounds. Both upgrades either increase in damage at a short or long range, respectively. Keep in mind the Tier 2 upgrades require you to be in fortified position to take advantage of the increased damage. HK's right path focuses on taking advantage of HK's Rapid Fire. Piercing rounds grants all bullet projectiles the ability to pass through enemies, and debilitating rounds will weaken afflicted enemies' damage by 10%. HK's fast attack speed means he can debuff multiple enemies in a given team fight. Up next for HK's ability is Railgun, a powerful energy blast. Much like HK's bullet barrage, Railgun can be tailored to do either increased damage or act as a primary way to debuff the enemy. First up, we have Hand Cannon and Days for Days. These combination of abilities grants HK a medium range cannon instead of a Railgun that now dazes targets for 2 seconds. For players looking for increased damage out of Railgun, they can take the upgrades Charged Rounds and Parallel Outputs. These upgrades grant HK the interesting ability to charge his Railgun for additional damage, while also granting HK the ability to shoot his primary chest gun while charging the Railgun. These upgrades astronomically increase HK's damage and can turn any fight in your favor. Rounding out HK's primary kit is Mortar. HK fires a high-powered Mortar at the enemy, pushing them backwards and doing damage. For Mortar's first upgrades, I take Mortar Love and Kaboom Box. These upgrades grant Mortar 40% increased damage and creates a burning AoE on explosion. Perfect for dealing with clumped up enemies or choke points. Mortar's right side is all about the cliff gaming, granting increased launching power. Arguably the best move in the game if you want to get your cliff gaming on. Last but not least is HK's focus, or better known as Swarm. HK fires a barrage of missiles, mowing down any in his path. Very hard hitting moving yeah. target as HK. Oh, good, bro! Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe in a thing called love. Look at this Gosh, friendship. He's running away. That's all right. He's lived to die another day. Yeah, I need to heal up. All right. 
MO and Man says just foul followed you. <laughs> 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 Don't know if that's quite how it works. Oh, he's low. He's low. I don't know if this is the best uh, opportunity. Nice. Good kick up for the trip, though. I think that's going to be all she wrote. Good focus. Uh, deflected ah, from the. Deflected. Oh, oh, no. This could be a save. Oh, good mortar. Oh, no. She's burning. Good kill coming out onto the Katie QQ. Yeti forward. Oh, move. they upgraded. Uh oh, uh -oh. that's all right. That's all right. I can believe. I think it's going to be uh, a yeah, good focus coming out from the Charnock. Down goes the uh, down goes the Summer Bloomer. It looks like your team is pulling a Charmin. That's a full wipe. <laughs> I love that turn. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. I think Kaboom is going to go down here. Indeed. Killer spree. Three for, three for the HK. Oh, yeah. Good damage coming out. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, he's super low. All right. Good defense coming out. Looks like you have the mortar up and your focus is almost up too. I believe. I believe in the thing called love. Oh, the H. Oh, oh. Nah, they're all Close. Right, the wrong way. Cool damage. Oh, good. A good railgun fire on that one. Okay. They're on me. Indeed. So. I believe. Oh, it's low. It's low. There go in. Be go. the hero. Be the hero we deserve. Be the hero we deserve. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Good deflect coming out from Kaboom. I just got Seriously. you killed. <laughs> really good deflect coming out uh, from Kaboom. I'm sorry. sorry. I got you killed. But hey, you guys won it. the game. You guys yeah. won the game. That's all I needed. I needed a distraction. <laughs> I needed a distraction for that to win the game. Great uh, job.